Hello, and welcome to another episode of Weird Food Wednesday. You ever have a craving of trying something with chocolate, but you want something healthy, like maybe like a granola bar, but you just want to make your own because maybe the granola bars and stores don't excite you anymore. It doesn't for me. I, I look at granola bars and stores. And I'm like, ah, it's too much sugar, too much this, too much that. And, you know, I'm over it. So I'm going to make my own. So I thought I'd make something with two different types of beans. Well, chickpeas, they're not really a bean, are they? But lupin, which is a bean, and I've got lupin flakes. So it comes from the bean of lupins, which grow in the Mediterranean, and they're great because they're high in protein. So we're going to have chickpeas and lupins, which are both high in protein, and we're going to combine that with a little bit of almond flour and a little bit of a sweetener, some chocolate, peanut butter, um, some herbs and spices, well, mostly spices like cinnamon. And I'm just actually going to do something weird, really weird today. I'm just going to wing it. I don't even have a recipe I'm following. I'm just kind of going to go, let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to put the remainder of the lupin flakes in. Oops. Uh, I'm not going to put those on the food processor. I'll change my mind. Because they're flakes, I'm going to keep them in the flaky form. But I've got some roasted chickpeas. And I'm going to combine those up. Because, you know, you don't really want roasted chickpeas. Just like, you know, coming up in a granola bar and offering like, ah, crunch on it. Like, could be a bit much. So I'm going to combine that in the food processor. And I need a little bit of a sweet. Oh, yes, I've got some dates. I forgot to mention that. I did tell you I was winning, right? <laughs> I've got three dates. So what I like to do with dates is um, if they're not fresh, and I'm not using them right away. Sometimes they tend to get a little bit hard. And I will um, use, put some boiling water over them and just to soften them up. Make them fresh again, and sometimes I use a little bit of the leftover water and add that to what I'm baking. So it works out really well. So let's just blend this up for a start. Actually, that's interesting. It's almost looking like chopped up walnuts, weirdly enough. I'll let you see. Does that look like chopped up walnuts? Well, it doesn't feel like chopped up walnuts, but it looks like it. Um, I'm going to maybe blend it a little bit more. And I've got the sweetener, but I think I want to add that all together in the bowl when I'm mixing it up. I do have some raisins, too. So... Maybe this is like, I think about a quarter cup of raisins. You know, I'm just like pulling things together from my, from my uh, stores, different foods. So I'm going to tell you a funny story. I was going to make some lunch today. And I want to make myself a healthy salad. I usually do. And I opened a drawer. And you know what I found? <laughs> this is too funny. Cauliflower. I found cauliflower in my drawer along with the chickpeas and walnuts and, you know, ground almonds and other stuff like that. Definitely in the wrong place. <laughs> and of course, they got there from the day before because I had used all those ingredients to make my salad. So the cauliflower was a little bit brown. I just cut up the brown spots. It was still good to eat. But it was a good thing it wasn't milk. pretty good I think that's good too so by the way if you're enjoying these videos um yeah pretty good like comment share um hopefully you're getting something good out of it because hopefully it inspires you to try new things you're cooking so if you're you know bored with the same old same old hopefully that'll inspire you to 
try something new and fresh, even if it is a little weird. Okay. So I've got that added. Now I'm gonna fold in some walnuts. I added base and cinnamon. Yes, I did. Right. <laughs> when you're winging it, sometimes it's hard to remember exactly what you're doing, the order. But I think you know with the granola bars, you can't go too far wrong. As long as you got the right ingredients. Now, uh peanut butter. I was gonna do some peanut butter, right? I mean, we need something to hold it together, right? Besides base. So, I'm going to add a little bit of peanut butter to this. I'm thinking, hmm, what do you think, like half a cup or so? Quarter cup. Let's start with a quarter cup and see what that looks like. So, I've already got some chocolate mixed up with some sweetener. This is um, maple syrup. And a little bit of the leftover water from from uh, the boiling water from softening the dates. So I've got like dates, raisins, peanut butter. So I've got a lot of good stuff to make it taste interesting. Now let's not forget the herbs and spices, right? And since we're making granola bars. I always like to add cinnamon. Cinnamon's good. I'm going to do some of that. Maybe a sprinkle of ginger. Then you may think, oh, ginger, is that too strong? But you know what? When you just add a sprinkle or two, it all kind of blends in really well. And it just gives it an, everything a nicer flavor, but you don't like really detect, oh, there's ginger. So when it bakes together, it's really, really nice. Okay, so this is coming along pretty good. Add the chocolate. So it's gonna be a little bit different here. Instead of adding chocolate chips, I just mix my chocolate powder with the um, maple syrup. And you know, you can do that. Or if you wanna use a different sweetener, you can as well. I prefer something like maple syrup, healthier and cleaner. You know, something that you'd be hard pressed to find in the grocery store, right? All right, so this is blending together pretty well. Let's see how this looks. Okay. I think it's going to be holding together nicely. You want to take a look? It's going to look like it's going to be a Good tasting granola bar. Mm, look at that. Okay, I'm going to pause this for a bit and oh, I'm getting chocolate all over my fingers. <laughs> pause this for a bit. I'm going to come back and show you what I got. Okay, the granola bars are ready. Let me see. Look pretty good. So, a little note, I had a little bite earlier, and then I was biting and going, what's that hard thing? And what it was, it was the pit of one of the dates I use. So when you use dates, it's really important to make sure that you get the pits out of them before you put them into baking. And I wasn't thinking that through. So that's very important. But... Uh, right here i end up adding a little bit more sweetener and another thing i would change is i would not use roasted chickpeas i would use canned chickpeas and the reason i use a roast roasted chickpeas is because i had them handy but hmm it's good it's really good so another option is to instead of using cocoa powder use chocolate chips or carob chips and you can use that as well. And you can have a very nice granola bar. So I'm going to enjoy these as my snack and treats for the next week. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to find out more, uh, click the bell button to subscribe. And click the links below to find out more information. Thanks for watching. Bye.